Green's family, but many time by here, man. Yo, I'm with my good yard brethren, Nakuma. Yes, yes. And come here, come on, come closer, yes. brother. And you know, here in Ghana, it's in Kuma. But uh, when I hear my brother talking, when we first met, uh, just talking on the phone and everything, I just always love this brother energy, man. Very powerful, man. And just know this brother is a, a Jamaican roots brother, yard brother. Just, that's the kind of energy we need, man. Because we as a people come from far. I always have to tell people that, you know, that before, you know, most people live in America and then come here. We have to come all the way from Jamaica, make it to America, mm -hmm. and then build a consciousness to come to Africa. So, Nkrumah, you want to be called Nkrumah or Nkrumah? No, Nkrumah, that's what everybody know me as, man. as you know what I'm saying. Um, Nkrumah is a famous man. I'm trying to get like him. I'm still, you know, I'm aging and I'm getting wiser. You know, that's why I'm here, looking to, I want to live here. You know, I want to live in Ghana, man, because this is um, where it all started before the devils came and they took us away, you know. So, so you like the foundation piece of us being here at um, Nkrumah Memorial definitely, Park. Man, and definitely, man. And it resonates with you, the Marcus yes, Garvey and the yes. Black Star and everything, right? right. It shows uh, how we're all connected as a people. Yes, definitely. The only thing I remember, you always take pictures by that um, statue over there. <laughs> so pictures, I remember that. The rest shirts. of it I, I never see before, man. So, so it's like, you know, it's good. I'm here. I'm, um, I'm witnessing all this. I'm being part of it, man. It's real nice. It's real nice. So you feel like this is your Jamaica of Africa? Yes, man. I mean, because, <laughs> you know, certain, when, I, when, when, you, when, the, when the bus driving down the street, there's parts of it that look just like Jamaica. The way the people um, hustle on the street, the, the vendors and all that, they do the same thing up to now in Jamaica. They do the same thing, you know. But um, 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 I, I, I just want to come live here, man. I want to come live here. There you go, family. Yeah. So, so family, there you go, man. And then got one of my other brothers. Come on in, man. Come on in. Yes, man. Yes, brother. We're just doing raw, natural just reconnection. How's, how's it been when you first walked here and you saw the big Kwame Nkrumah statue and then the big memorial? It's like inspiring, man. I've seen it before on the videos, but or documentaries, but I've never seen it in person. So yeah. to see that and read about them and know the information behind it and the story behind it, it's amazing. And, uh, it's a real blessing to be here. The world of a difference once you, you know, because people all say, you seen all your videos and everything. I say, yeah, we do long, extensive videos, detailed videos. But I tell people, it's a whole different journey when you're here experiencing, especially when we're, we're here together and we have on these yeah. shirts, a, a, a sense of solidarity. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's true. Yeah. Uh, true. Let, let me know if you want to share anything about even the breakdown of uh, Nkrumah, even though I have some of the information in the book and things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, I had a question really about that, but we'll get to that oh, later. Oh, sure, if you have but, a question, uh, just spill it then. Uh, if I can't answer it, my brother in there will answer it. Yeah, I was just uh, thinking about the influence he had over the country in terms of development and also the influence, uh, the change that Jerry Rollins was able to install and bring in too. So I was just in my mind comparing the two and wanted to get more into details of uh, what both of the contributions that both of them have in towards the development of the country. You know that you are, uh, come right? close, come come closer, said, come closer so my brother can hear. Yeah. <laughs> no, you heard my brother yeah, say that. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, um, I, I want to just give him a small mm -hmm. details about it. And, you know, and, and you have to go up a little bit. Okay. One thing is that you leave here, somebody want to come up. You know, you cannot rule the world. That's why we used to say one man can never rule the world. You know, so yeah, and come out do his best. And um, uh, before, and not JJ Rollins come next, they have some president and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So they also came with a coup. So yes. Kuma and uh, uh, JJ Rollins succeed with a coup, and that's it. So he, he, he dominated like 20, that was 90 to 20, 21 years. So he tried his best before we got to JJ Kufo. So he's the, he's the Democrat president, like democracy and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, them so, crazy. So we, we, yes, so we, we started voting <laughs> crazy. on on um, um, Rollins time, but before we did a voting, but not a regular presidency like what we did at uh, Dubois and um, Rollins. Mm -hmm. So we did a Dubois, we did Rollins later. A Dubois came from the NPP, which is the J. A. Kufo's uh, um, party. It belongs to the J. A. Kufo's party. So they do a very thing, and Kufo came power, and they just they vote Rollins out. They break Kufo in. So that's it. Yeah, and um, since then, um, it's been yeah, more, so, you more, know. more peace than anything else. Oh, yeah, you know. Yeah, because you know, that's what I tell people. We, we, we as a people go through it where you have your differences and your issues, but then you, you work it out. And that's what I see um, you know, 
in the African continent of uh, this maybe this 50, 60 years ago, civil unrest, certain things we're not sure about because so many different factions want to be in power and things like that. And then, you know, you just you work it out. So, you know, when people are thinking about Africa, sometimes they're thinking about when you're, you're fighting for independence and the things that went on historically with family. Been traveling to the continent for the last 16 years from 2004 and been to 10 countries and Africa is the future. Everything is going. Every country I go to, you go there and you come back, you see progress, you see everything is in the up direction. And you know, those of us who live in America, you kind of can see a certain standstill and then you see yes. the ship sinking. Mm -hmm. So you just want to know, are you going to sink with the ship? Are you going to jump off the ship, you know, like abandon ship and, you know, and, and, and create your own vessel? So our own vessel is Africa. Yes, yes. And, and you I guys want to share anything? I I My brother right here. We, we just do, we just do, we're doing one of those hardcore, raw, impromptu session. Wait, wait. My elder, you want to share anything? No. How's your experience been? No, it's been great. You never did nothing for me. No, emotional. And you're one of the first in your family to... I'm kind of nervous. You and uh, the Jose, one of the yes. first in the family to actually come to Africa. Yes. We, so that's uh, a beautiful experience, family. We tried 15 and 20 on. We tried to get them all to come. They would <laughs> You guys must love us, man. 15 to 20? Man, that, that's... Yeah. It was bought up at our family reunion. Man, y'all trying to keep me in business. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> bought up at the family reunion, and we, uh, you know, he bought it up. I told him, I said, we'll go. That's amazing. Five, when I get five back, family members. Yeah, when I get back, I got you. My family, I just got a report. Yeah. Let's see how peaceful it's been. It's, and yeah. it's only been a few days. Yeah. You no, know, I, I kind of felt like the older people answer. They left it one way. At least we came back as free as we possibly could. And this is your experience, so it's like no yeah. one can tell you anything. Yeah. It's like, yo, no. went to Africa. Yeah. When I, I didn't stay in the capital city, I went around the country. And you yeah. notice once we, we had the, the hotel, we went one hour that way, one hour that way, and now we're in the city. Yeah. And yeah. if you don't do it like that, you don't really get the full experience. Like tomorrow, right. we're going to do something completely different. We're going to visit land, going to meet the chief, going to uh, see, oh, see some cultural things that I can't explain to people right now. But... It's, you know, it's those kind of journeys that we have and we, we realize that we as a people have been brainwashed in the diaspora. So it's up to us to put programs together to, to welcome our brothers and sisters and make it simpler. So I appreciate you and Jose watching the videos and sharing it with the family and bringing the family of five here. That's powerful. I mean, soon he brought it up. Me and he and I were talking and he brought it up. I said, we'll go. And you guys have been dedicated from the beginning. I appreciate both yeah. of you. And, you know, and then, you know, your wives and also our um, uh, niece, daughter. I will only uh, contact you when I absolutely had to. Man, but and you, yeah, you guys will follow everything to a <laughs> T, man. I'm very impressed. Yeah, so. Well, I figure if we follow the direction, then it should be, be a non-issue. Yeah, everything's in the Yeah, and you start yeah. deviating yeah. and doing no different stuff, you're yeah. going to run into problems. I know you ain't there you go, family. No so, family, <laughs> we'll keep you, we'll, we'll give you more highlights, family, and uh, this is that special day. And whenever you see us with these t-shirts on, it's a moment, energy of solidarity. So family, the journey continues. Let's keep it strong.